everybody, welcome back to Pixel Juggies. We're playing Ruse? Reuse. Re reuse. Reduce. Reuse. Recycle? Indie game. Oh. Man, do it from the beginning, man. We need an origin story for our garbage planners. Alright. What is this game, Adam? Uh, in this game, it's a god game where you play as actual oh, gods. Peter Molyneux had his... Uh... Peter Molyneux was jerking off one day on a plant. And that plant's name... Roger Moore. Some time stuff going on there. Introduction. Oh man, you is that the core of the planet? Slumber, and you find your uh, surface dry and bare. Is Aaron Eckhart surface. down there? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> I never saw that movie. You didn't? No. Oh, I was pretty stupid. <laughs> we gotta restart the core. It's like just fucking leave. Well, leave the planet? Yeah. Just fuck off. You gotta press the play button. I think. Is that a play? Yeah, okay. Wow. Yeah, so Adam's playing it. Oh, man, are you a Meyer Lurk? Yep. Oh, do you get to pick what god you are, I guess? Well, these are, so like... Or do you this play as different gods? Uh, your goal is to have life roam your surface eternally. And to start, you will That's turn the tribal side into a paradise. That's a big fucking monster for the size that I plan is. Is this Starbound? Oh man, you know it. I always wanted to play this game because it looked really interesting. Is this No Man's Sky? Is your address quickly waning? <laughs> well, uh, here, here's your moment, Adam. Don't uh, fuck it up. I'm trying not to. You can right. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. There we go. You can right click. How do you spin the world? Uh, with world. the arrow keys. Oh. Uh, I was hoping it'd be the mouse wheel. So, so like, you could unlock the mouse wheel and, like, spin it super fast. You can probably remap it. Well, actually, Andrew, my mouse wheel unlocks automatically when you spin it fast. Oh. So you, you're not a, you're not the kind of guy that it likes precision. What do you mean precision? What are you talking about? Like, if you're just spinning the mouse wheel quickly, it'll just unlock itself. But, see, I like to have precise control, so I, I like to choose when it unlocks. I don't think you I don't think you need... I can choose when it unlocks, too. I can unlock it manually, but it'll also unlock manually when you spin it fast. I don't think you can have precision when you just fucking flick the wheel at mock speed. What do you... What do you man, what do you use a mouse wheel for that requires precision? Oh, man, there's menu, though. I gotta be precise. Well, sometimes you want to you want to be precise in your Excel Excel <laughs> Excel oh, spreadsheet. I forgot about that. And sometimes Watch you want to create wanna just... ocean. That guy has clouds on him. Yeah, no, because he's supposed to be this guy. Yeah, he's a big mountain. Is it on him or are they just there? Well, I think he's so large he just gets a he he gets a. <laughs> he's gonna drown now. Also, why are the clouds in like fucking the stratosphere? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Oh, it's tree. -y. Oh man, a racist tree thing. <laughs> this is a forest uh, giant. You can. The brown one lives uh, in the woods. Zoom in on their location. Man, he's like he looks like a bionicle. Remember those? Man, they were. I remember fun. you collecting bionicles. Those. Sure, oh, Adam shit. was a stupid were, bionic nerd. Also, were you into bionicles, Adam? Was it bionicles? It was. No, they bion were bion bio Yeah, bionicle. The, the, the I, I did was, like Bionicles. I didn't. I didn't like him. I used to like him a lot. No. I, I yeah. Are you saying no I to did. me or Andrew? No, no. Man, I love that. No. <laughs> That's too bad, man. They were good. <laughs> yeah, I did like them. Yeah, you should have. How come you didn't like him, Aaron? Because you didn't own them. No, they were too. Um, Lego. They weren't realistic looking enough for me. Oh. Uh, really. Yeah. They're I thought just they were like really big, cool designs. Like big O face masks and stuff. I like I don't know. So see here I've made a I've made a mountain right but here. But you're also a mountain. Uh and it's created a desert over here. So I'm creating different ecosystems. So ah. how did this how did this planet with no moisture on it have an atmosphere? Uh because shut up. Oh you got clouds growing and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you're growing clouds like crazy. Man, just terraform all like these some, planets. You're some sort of cloud cloud fiend. 
Yeah. I don't know. I, I can understand like the the appreciation in collecting stuff, like collecting those masks, but they were, I was I wasn't really into that. I forget what I was in at the time into at the time. When was that on the go? What year was that? Like late nineties, uh, early two thousands? Yeah, around then. I think like hmm. two thousand it was like late nineties to mid two thousands. I don't know what it would have been at that time. I think it was time. like two thousand plus. I don't think it was in the nineties. I remember having them in you know the late nineties though. Really? Yeah. I think it was like two thousand one, two thousand two, two thousand three, around the around that era. I don't know. First I, part of the millennium. I remember being more interested in something else at the time. Boobs, probably. Oh yeah, totally. Bionicle. Nerd. Bionicles. Oh What's, man, is that Tree Man doing stuff? Wikipedia. Oh, that's you've created. I fucked up the forest. <coughs> well, you the screwed desert. up the desert. Animal. That's probably good. You want more forest, right? Yeah, but you know, desert uh, organisms need love too. Don't you need a desert if you're having a mountain? No, is, ma- mountains are cre- uh, deserts are created from mountains because the dry air from coming down from the mountains is what creates the deserts. There's very little moisture mm. in them. After suffering a ten-year downturn in the 1990s, the Lego Group decided to go with an idea of storytelling and through a theme of story uh, line. Uh, upon release in 1999, the first attempt was the Star Wars line based on a film audience and uh, of the same name. Uh, hang on now. Wait, Lego? Does Lego own Star Wars? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, they wanted to. Oh God! I horribly mismanaged making, my money. <laughs> they're trying to make storyline-based stuff, so they started with Star Wars. Oh. Um, but the royalty payments to the franchise owners, Lucasfilm, limited Lego's profit. The company later decided that an original story created by themselves would be more advantageous. With their first attempts ending up as the themes of the Slizers, Throwbots, and Robo Riders, <laughs> released in 1999 and 2000. Elements from Lego Technic construction. Man, there's a long fucking history about this stupid ass. I Lego. guess a lot of people enjoy them Bionicles. Bionicles. <laughs> Launch in initial reception. First wave of Bionicles. How far down can you dig, Adam? That, that's as far as you go. You only get the surface. Oh. The first sets of Bionicles were released in December of 2000. What happened there? Bionicle was released in North America in mid-2001. So, Adam, you're a filthy liar. Oh, well. There was something before Bionicles, though. I remember Adam was it. a beta tester for Bionicles. I was, Adam actually. I, <laughs> bro, this piece doesn't fit properly. The, uh, the controls are pretty shit. Oh man, what ha- what's happened? Oh, geez. I think I was probably just dealing with like actual Lego sets at the time, like probably Star Wars stuff or something. I like the design of the gods; they're pretty cool. What's happening? Well, I think I is that I've... game Universe Sim done yet? No. Oh. Because the universe isn't done yet either. No. There's a game called I think it's Uver- Universe Sim. Uverse? No, that would be U Sim if anything. But it was like Sim City, but the universe, and you could like go into planets, and then you'd have like, like people on the planet, and they'd have like economies, and there'd be shit going on on a planet. But then you could like zoom out, and there'd be like other planets, and oh yeah, and then I I think I would assume on some scale you'd be able to like have those planets interact with each other, like kind of like Stellaris if you've seen that game, but on a much more like ground level. Pardon the pun. Yeah, I think that'd be. Uh, if that's what if that's what it ends up being, I want to play that. Can you use multiple people on a area? I think. Well, if I were to put a mountain here, it would cancel out the water. Yeah, but what if you can you put plants in the water? Make a water world, and then invite Kevin Costner. Hell yeah, man! That was such a great movie. <gasps> what do you guys think of that Westworld show? Yeah, it only does that. Oh. You're gonna watch Westworld? Oh hell yeah! I think it looks great. What's yeah, Westworld? It's pretty cool. It's a New show. HBO show. Yeah. What's it about? Westworld. I don't. It seems like I don't know. Thanks for that asshole. Is that based on anything or is that original? It's based on a book. Is it? Okay. I don't know anything about it from what, but from what I got from the terrible long promo that they played before the Game of Thrones finale, it looks like like a, a world set in the old West, but 
it's like a simulation or something. And there's like people, I don't know, it, I don't know, it's kind of fallout asking in that sense. It looks like some sort of simulation West thing. It's like, it's a sci-fi Western thing. Yeah, so what is the Western bit, a simulation? I think it's in, I think it's a virtual world. Okay, I so it's think. like the Matrix. I'm not, a, I'm not really sure to be honest, but that's what I, cling, that's what I gleamed from it. Yeah, I kind of don't. I haven't read any of the books. I kind of don't want to know about it. Yeah. Because it looked cool. And it's HBO, so, so it. you know there's a budget. So, hey, yeah. looks sounds good to me. Sign me up. They played a lot of ads before that Game of Thrones finale. It's like, this show's supposed to start at, what is it, 10.30? It uh, starts here? Uh, yeah. It's like, a, a Game of Thrones, 10.30. And then at like 10.40 is when the show came on. Because yeah, they I, ran 10 minutes of ads at yeah. the beginning of the I, I always watch it. Oh! Half hour later. I got, uh, oh, man, I got, you got peeps. Yeah. For shows with ads. Not Game of Thrones, though, because they don't have ads. Yeah, but typically I just watch it a half hour oh. later anyway. But I think, like, they got they got wise to PVR recordings. Because, like, the recording will start, like, during the credits of the preview show, and then there's one ad, and then they play the actual episode. Yeah. But in this, it was, like, the credits of that show, then ten minutes of, like, hey, don't go away from HBO. I know Game of Thrones is ending, but we got all these <laughs> cool shows coming up. And, now, and then the show. Like and and people who have people who PVR shows don't ever see that because they played it in the time slot of the show rather than before the show. Yeah. I feel like these villagers would be terrified of this thing. Oh God! <sighs> oh blueberries. Blueberries. Wow. Are they actual blueberries or are they like blue raspberry garbage? Yeah, no, he created blueberries. Why do people call blackberries blueberries sometimes? Because they're stupid. They're idiots. They're, they're nothing alike. I know, but sometimes people do that. What people? Morons? Not, not raspberries, but like the, the black... Did I say raspberries? You said blackberries. Okay, that's what I meant. The black raspberries. Who sees a blackberry and calls it a blueberry? I don't know. I've seen like chefs and stuff called like, there's blueberries. Like, it's not even... It doesn't even look blue. <laughs> well, the chef's a dumbass. Yeah. Do you like blackberries? What's well, everyone's favorite berry? Excluding... Well, I won't exclude it. I was going to say excluding strawberries, because it's not really a berry, but... What are strawberries, if not berries? They're, they're more of a fruit. It's not a in berry. the name. Yeah, I know, but it's kind of a faux thing. Anyway, what's your favorite berry? Oh, okay. Orange. I like oranges. Probably... Maybe. Did you say excluding blueberries? No, 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 I'm not excluding anything. Just anything with a berry in a name or actual berry. Uh, probably blueberries or raspberries. Yeah. I raspberries, en yeah. I enjoy myself a... Raspberries? A, a nice raspberry. Do you? You guys, sure. are, you guys are Team Raspberry? Yeah. Why? What do you like? You like some know. weird hipster shit, I'm sure. <laughs> weird hipster shit. I like, uh, I guess it's, it's going to sound hipster now. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to sound hipster, but it's not at all because we have a gooseberry bush right outside our house. So it's like, it's not, it's not some like exotic thing that I need to go buy. But I grew up eating gooseberries off that bush. So I really like gooseberries that aren't ripe yet. Wow. Oh. Which sounds super <laughs> hipster, too. Uh, I like uh, only uh, boysenberry, but uh, only if they're smushed by cat. <laughs> like, gooseberries when they're green. Like, right before they turn red, that's when they're good. Oh. Um, I don't know if they're my favorite berry, though. I like blueberries, strawberries are up there. I like blackberries, I think, more than raspberries. I can't remember what a blackberry tastes like. It's like... I, remember, I can remember what strawberry and raspberry and blueberry taste like, but I can't mm. remember blackberry. I can't recall the taste of strawberries. It sucks to be you. Anybody remember Lord not? of the Rings? No, it's Lord of the Rings, you asshole. It's what Frodo says. There's strawberries in Lord of the Rings. Yeah. I thought but, they'd be but, some but, weird What are you doing to my berries? forest? You assholes? I bet. Just kill I, them I, all. I thought they'd be eating like uh, ring berries or, uh, or uh, some weird uh, Frodo berry. Have you guys ever had winter berries? They're the white ones, right? Yeah, they're like they look like Tic Tacs. Yeah, the I call them something else, but I can't remember the name. White berries, probably. No, not white berry. It was like cum berries. <sighs> yeah, I forget what they. I think that's. They're they... like minty. Yeah, they're kind of minty. Yeah, flavor. mint berries, probably what I call. Them. Yeah, something like that. Winter berry. Uh, I don't know. Blackberries are kind of like raspberries, but they're less sweet, and I think maybe a bit more tart. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, I think maybe it's not winter berries. Hang on now. White mint berry. So I can get the actual name on it. 
I, I get a fucking picture of a t-shirt. How the fuck? It's all those damn hipsters. It is all those damn hipsters. Friggin' millennials. How the fuck do they get a shirt? Uh, my favorite berry is a t-shirt. <laughs> Alright, let's try white berry. Um, do you have that in a uh, t-shirt? White berry fruit. Yeah, these ones. Those, right? Yeah. So what are they called? There's no names on them. I, I remember a word starting with T. There's Symphora Carpos. Yeah, that's it. Remember those uh, Symphora Carpos? Remember that word without a T in it? That one. Yeah. No, something... A tea berry. Is it tea berry? Ac... Acte? I don't a know what it is. Hey, can you have people grow in the water? Why are these called... Look, they're called red bane berries, but they're white. Yeah. I guess they got a red center. Why the fuck? People naming vegetables and fruits need to fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> well, it's like, um... Um... Uh, oh, this is a poisonous one. I don't, don't go eating that, kids. I don't know what the fuck it's called. It looks like a Tic Tac. Um, Tastes like mint. I can't even remember what I'm saying. Uh, the uh, uh, there's a there's a type of seal called the crab eater seal, except it doesn't eat crabs, and it's technically not a seal. Oh yeah, man, oh. red onion. Oh no, that's that's purple. No, no, man, that's totally red. What do you mean? Well, what if he's color blind? What if he's fucking was Rory? Named, Rory, fuck off, naming vegetable and shit. <laughs> It would colorblind asshole. Oh, red, red cabbage. Yeah, totally red. Absolutely. I feel like, you know how like like they added two months, like December. This is December is ten in French, but it's actually the twelfth month because it used to be the tenth month. I feel like that happened with red. Like red used to actually be purple, but then they were like, oh man, we got a new color. Let's fuck it. That one's purple now. So they, like, shoved in another color and fucked everything over on Wait, the Wait, what were the original ten months? Uh, hang on, I'll, I'll Google what ones they added. Did January and February not exist? I don't remember uh, what ones it is. Two months added to calendar. They added March and May. Wow. Oh. To retain the position of the seasons, they changed the length of most months. March, May, wait, hang on. Let me read the whole thing. So it's like adding two two people to a group that don't want two people, and everybody gets shafted because of it. I guess, yeah. Because this guy was named Four Ten. What? His name was Ten. He was supposed to be the tenth month, but <laughs> two people got added, so he's no longer the tenth month. And yeah. every other month gets shortened. Well, yeah, and Oct is eight. September is seven. Oh my god! So. Oh god! Ah! Can you pound the shit out of those pit villagers? I wish. Just be like, destroying. <laughs> <laughs> Come down with the strength of God. Yeah. <laughs> what are you trying to do here? What do you have to do? What is your goal right now? I'm, uh, I just have to get these villagers to survive. Oh, he's on top of me. They apparently added January and February. They had a January and February. Yeah. Good job, January and February. Man, anybody born in those months are assholes. <laughs> and they, they like, completely fucked around the calendar. Because it used to be 10 months, 36 days per month. Because it, it would have been 360 days a year. But then the world either... It either... They were either shit at calculating time or some sort of... Like, astrological event fucked the planet and slowed it down five days a year. Uh -huh. So then they added another five days, and then for some reason, added two months and shimmied all the dates around. So it's like, oh, fuck, fuck everything. <laughs> I guess, I guess, as as science got, as science gave uh, astronomers more precision in date calculation, I guess they had to do something. Why can't we just, like, go I mean, back to that, though? the months seem to be completely arbitrary. I mean, the days per year don't, because 
is rotation of the sun, but the actual months yeah. and the number of days in each month seems arbitrary. So I don't, I don't know. I don't understand why exactly you would need to add months or whatever. I think they said they wanted to prolong the spring season. Uh-huh. So they, were, they wanted four equal seasons. And then they, like, changed the dates around well, to... Well, why not just have seasons instead of months? Hey, well, like Harvest it, Moon? Sure, why not? It's day... It's day uh, 48 of spring. Like, it doesn't matter. Months don't matter. No. Months exist because of, like, Roman gods and shit. I'm Isn't sure. that kind of convenient, though? Oh, Jesus. What? 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 Well, like... I was gonna say let's let's shift let's make it 360 days a year again, but then it's not a full it's not a full orbit around the sun. So it's like all right, well let's make it a full orbit and just extend the days, but then you're not like then time extends past day night cycles. So it's like it's it's very convenient to me that 365 days, which is almost a perfect circle like from a mathematical standpoint, is almost exactly our orbit around the sun, but also in revolutions as we go around it. So it's like, was that the basis for math, or is that just like super convenient? Uh, you know what I mean? I don't think it's the basis of math, but... Well, like, why, why 360 degrees in a circle? Is it because there was 360 days in a I year? I could tell you, but it would take longer than we have time. Cause like I don't actually know. Because a degree was made by man, so like, why can't we just let's fuck math and increase what a degree is, so we can increase or de? Well, that's still not gonna work though. How about we do this? Everything's shagged, Darren. Don't worry. Let's about put it. big ass booster rockets on Earth uh -huh. and speed it back up again a little bit, so that we're back to 360 days a year. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah. And then my that OCD won't can that be, won't destroy. We'll be all fine. Life on we'll get Aaron Eckhart. Earth. It'll be great. So you're just trying to make people survive, Adam? Yeah. How many people do you have to... How many people have died? Uh, nobody yet. Don't, don't worry really about well. that. Make, make a mountain what there. What are those purple things underneath the planet? Make a mountain right there and turn that whole place into a desert. <clears throat> Leave it a wasteland and build a vault. Yeah. Well, this whole area is a desert. You make everything else a desert. Just make one little green patch and call that the Garden of Eden. Can you make it a mega desert? I could, technically. If I wanted, I don't make know. it. Yeah, make Tatooine. I, I actually can because it's still a tutorial level, so it's not giving me a lot of control. If I'm can honest, can you uh, build a star destroyer? Oh yeah, they programmed that into the game. <laughs> and then crash landed into the planet. Is that a desert mountain? That doesn't exist. There's a tree on the top of this. I think that's impossible. There's a tree in the stratosphere. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I feel like you all being on that one part of the planet, plus with that mountain, would fuck the orbit up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! It's like a oh, man, washing I got the machine with all the clothes in one area. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> I don't know, guys. This is not very exciting. I think we can probably end now. This wasn't what I a short old special. Oh, hey, man, man. They, they, they built that right quick. They built a... That's more detail than I thought there was. Is that a cathedral? Are they introducing religion? We don't... But they have gods. The gods don't allow religion. I wish you Destroy could... Destroy we don't. We don't exist. Stop make, worshiping of us. Make, uh, make water right underneath it. Those people don't have necks. <laughs> and these floating head assholes. Thou shalt have a neck. So we can hang you. Man, these people are hangproof. That has evolutionary advantage. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I'm gonna hang your ass. Haha, <laughs> you can't. But a slight breeze can blow their head off and they die. <laughs> like BB-8 is held on with like <laughs> magnet. Like it's like a floating magnet. If you yeah. Disrupt it at all, it just flies off. <laughs> if you swipe your hand through the through the opening, <clears throat> you kill them. When you see them eat, you can just like see the food drop out of the bottom of their head into their body. <laughs> Uh, raise the wolf in you. Don't eat that, that's poison. <laughs> Catch it before it goes into your body. The body hole is just like coated in this sticky, sticky white viscous fluid. It's like, 
Uh, John, what is that? Oh, don't worry about that. The burp is just like splatter. Like, <laughs> God. If their head rolls more than like, it's like Bluetooth. If it rolls more than like 10 feet away from their body, they just die. Yeah. Because it disconnects. If they go to sleep, there's like a 94% chance they won't wake up. Yeah, there's a huge mass murdering going on because people go around at night and rob everyone's heads. <laughs> oh, my legs falling asleep. They they would pierce their ears, and then chain that to like they're under their arms. Yeah. So that their head couldn't get far away from their body. <laughs> yeah, your head on a leash. Man, they're superior uh, species, definitely. I mean, they're hangproof, so... What's that floating orb thing there? Is that a bionicle? Where? This? That, yeah. yeah. That's just showing where the guy's going. Oh. So I'm trying to create crops and stuff for these, these people to live in. But they live in the desert. For pe Crops for people to live in? To live on. Oh. They live in the desert, Adam. They don't have crops. Man, look at my they're corn not, house. They're not accustomed to crops. Exactly. Do you, yeah. have, do you have forest people and desert people? Are they going to go to war? I hope they're, so. They're split by a mountain. Yeah, I know. It's like they stole all our gods, yeah. We gotta, we gotta take them out. Can you make volcanoes? Can you grow I, more clouds? I don't know. <laughs> Man, fucking just get some Mount Vesuvius going on and fuck everybody Let's up. Let's improving this village until it can Where's finish the project. Where's Kid Harrington ass? Where's Jim Arterton ass? She was in that, right? If you make water, right there. Oh, oh okay, shit. There She's a purdy. Oh, now they got a church. She's a purdy woman. Uh, who Gemma Arterdom? <laughs> yeah, Gemma. You know, uh, tried to Gemma, lead the village I love to a different you. Like, That's not my name. <laughs> what? Did you see the Jessica Alba thing where she kisses a fan through glass? Nope. It was like a setup thing. It was like a contest, it, I guess. It I don't was know. set up. Yeah, it was like, hey, win a chance to kiss Jessica Alba through a. A plane of glass. So it's like. Was that in fine print or was it clearly? Like I don't. Obvious? I don't know what it was, but it's like it's this huge crowd and a plane of glass there, and Jessica Alba's on one side, and then a fan gets to come up and like kiss her, quote unquote, through the glass, and she like she absolutely could not keep her cool, and she like freaked out. It Why? Was, Cause it's weird, man. I don't know. Jimmy Kimmel Live Celebrity Kissing Booth with Jessica Alba. Yeah, I guess that's Jessica it. Alba can't keep her cool. What she get was she slugging it? <laughs> no, I don't think so. What the hell is that? Is that a is that a swamp monster? This one, yeah. That's where ass sweat comes from. You a real god. This is celebrity worship at its finest. Lining up to kiss a woman through glass. Man, I totally uh, bob my knob on that glass. Bob your knob? Yeah, like boom. I think this game would be cool if you can make like like a just booping it. like a like mythical creatures and that kind of stuff. And you have more control, but you don't have a lot of control in this game. It seems. Well, you're slowly unlocking more things, and now you got swamp. This is so stupid. This game? No, this is, I'm watching a video. Of Jessica Alba, like, cleaning the glass. Like, what? She's like the Pope. Is she afraid of getting shot or shanked or something? Like, why the fuck does it actually if kiss a person? If I was that fan, I'd be really fucking disappointed. Well, I think if you knew going in, it's like, I'm gonna kiss you through glass. <laughs> why would you want swamp? This is so awkward and stupid. Because I want, I want it, lots of incest. Oh. Wait, insects? Incest. Oh. Oh. How many incest? A lot. Oh, man. What the fuck? Well, is you're going to get a lot in the swamp. Um, too many, some people would say. Others would say not enough. Mm. Would they? They may. What? If they could speak, but they're swamp people. She wouldn't even, she wouldn't even kiss him through the glass. This guy, the guy had his hands, like locked with a zip tie behind his back, 
so he couldn't do anything. And even through a sheet of glass, she wouldn't kiss him. It's so awkward. You just Google a video. It's so terrible. Oh, Jesus. She you, like You cringing hard? She like made him kiss her on the cheek through glass, and her face wasn't even on the glass. Oh. <laughs> Aaron's cringing. It's so stupid. <laughs> Anyway, everybody, I think that's it for she this must episode. Have, she must have been paid a lot of money to agree. Oh, though. man, absolutely. I mean, if you're Jessica Alba, you're going to milk Unless Jimmy Kimmel's being a dick about it. He's like, hey, let's do this thing. And she's like, I didn't agree to this. All right, man, let's do it. It'll be great. Well, you're... if you want to be on my show, you got to do it. Well, now if you don't do it, you're just going to look like a bitch. So. <laughs> Getting his box over here and kissed this random guy with his zip ties behind his back. He probably got out of prison or something. Uh... Yeah, well, uh... It'd be cool if there was a detonate planet button and you just watch all your little people. Just watch the core explode. Zoom in on, like, be able to, like, record it in game. Yeah. And then you can go back and, like, instant replay it so you can lock on to individual people and watch as they get shot off. And, in and the they're, space. like, they have super detailed deaths. I do have an earthquake. Jesus Christ, and fucking motorcycles. You do have an earthquake? Yeah. You can just stamp your foot or something? Muck bomb? Oh, man. I got a muck bomb brewing right now. Let's 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 turn it. <laughs> let's let my divine wrath come down upon this village. It has displeased me. Yes. Zoom in. Zoom in, enhance. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> oh jeez. That was uh underwhelming. Well, I mean, they're, they're all dead. They all died, but it was still underwhelming. Yeah. I wanted, right, like, I wanted right, to see end. cracks go through the cross. this? Yeah. I oh, mean, no, one, the one... poor people. Oh, I guess, I'm, guess I'll just go over here. That man and a dog. I, they're like rodents. I can't get rid of them. Did that man have sex with that dog and they made a village? Yeah. You know, he's got them headless uh, dog people now. Fuck that. Tell you, fuck your shit. <laughs> fuck your shit that we made. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks for joining us. Join us next week when we play another game. Mm. Uh, hopefully one with a little more to do. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's fucking cold next week. Yeah. Thanks, Bye. everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.